ever since he has been elected in this position, he has come in guns blazing. Um, is, is, is he coming in guns blazing against against poverty? No. Is he coming in guns blazing? Well, I guess technically, yes. <laughs> I guess, yeah, yes, he has come in guns blazing against poverty, but not to end poverty for the people who are impacted the most by poverty, the unhoused people of New York City, of which there are many, many thousands, okay? People have been sleeping on the streets in New York really for generations. This is not a new phenomenon. Um, and historically, generationally, there has been woefully few services um, truly dedicated to addressing the the holistic needs of those who are unhoused, okay? But what Eric Adams announced today, or yesterday rather, was his intention to begin rounding up New York's unhoused people and committing them to hospitals without their permission, involuntary detention, basically, is what Eric Adams is proposing here. This is his solution to unhoused. This is his solution to the mental health crisis, to lock people up, to put them away. I want us to take a look. Uh, USA Today did a little, little clip of this, um, and we hear some excerpts from what Eric Adams has proposed. People with severe and untreated mental illness who live out in the open, on the streets, in our subways, in, in danger and, and in need. We see them every day and our city workers are familiar with their stories. These New Yorkers and hundreds of others like them are in urgent need of treatment, yet often refuse it when offered. New York City police and emergency workers are being instructed to remove homeless people with severe mental illnesses from city streets and subways. And all of us know it, well, you all know it. You're watching people standing there on the street talking to themselves, don't have shoes on, uh, shadow boxing, uh, unkept, and we are walking by them. We're pretending as though we don't see them. Sending those tents and those encampments, seeing human waste, stale food, dirty clothing, people who are dealing with mental health crises, and then we have the audacity to say that they should live that way? I'm just not going to do that. If responders suspect they pose a danger to themselves, the homeless people would be involuntarily hospitalized, even if they aren't a danger to others. Officials said the city will immediately begin training police and emergency staff to ensure compassionate care. That is just so irresponsible that we know that this person is about to probably go off the edge and harm someone. But we're going to wait until it happens. Not in this administration. We're going to be more responsive. We're going to be clear. We're going to be compassionate. But we're not punting this issue. We're going to face this issue head on. That That is some of the most disgusting shit I have ever heard come out of the mouth of truly anyone. And really, Eric Adams has been a show up there in fucking New York. They call him Black Giuliani for a reason. For him to sit there and say, and, and again, making all, all of this fear mongering, all of us all trying to pit us against one another our unhoused neighbors they do not deserve to be involuntarily hospitalized have we learned any lessons from the 20th century and i know wherever you guys are in, in america at least th there is probably an abandoned institution in a state near you i think in pennsylvania outside of philadelphia what was the big one i think it was called penhurst do y'all know the story of these institutions? Because they are really a, a carbon copy uh, 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 across the country, right? You have these huge institutions where people who have mental health crises, who are unhoused, who may have had some sort of disability, were basically warehoused and abandoned in these institutions. They were not cared for. They were not given proper treatment. All of the conditions that Eric Adam described of, of how some unhoused people live on the streets of New York City, uh, living in filth was the exact conditions of these institutions that Eric Adams is basically describing. What hospitals is he referring to in New York? Where is there space to put thousands of, of unhoused people in? And the thing is, he proposes this instead of providing actual housing. Why is the solution involuntary hospitalization 
and or homeless shelter. And let's put throw a third one in there, Rikers, right? Rikers or jail. How come in all of this suggestion, since we in the suggestion mode here, Mayor Adams, how come you don't rent hotel rooms or rent whole ass apartments? There is inventory in New York City for homeless people to be accommodated, to put them in permanent housing. But because capitalism tells us that if you are not expanding labor into this system, you are not worthy of a home. You are not worthy of proper human decency. You are not deserving of basic human rights. I fucking hate it here really bad. I know I've said that maybe a time or two or seven, but I have to reinforce that because that is absolutely sickening and disgusting. And Eric Adams, his entire record so far, his very short tenure as the mayor of New York City has been a war and an attack on poor people and the homeless. And and you would think <laughs> that New York City does have other fish to fry. The other aspect of this that really bothered me before we move on is that Mayor Adams says there that they're gonna start training New York City police officers to be compassionate, outreach people to, to, to deal with this houseless uh, population. And when the fuck has NYPD and compassionate ever been used in the same goddamn sentence? The answer is never. The answer is never. So you want these people to have more encounters with law enforcement, which oftentimes is a violent encounter, whether or not it actually results in physical violence, the actual violence of forcibly displacing unhoused people throwing away all of their belongings, usually including some of their very precious documents and paperwork that they have. That is violence. And you want more violence, says Eric Adams. This is why Democrats are completely fucking useless. Useless, you guys. Either we got to do a bout it, bout it third party, or again, I say, burn it down and start again.